Welcome back guys. In this episode, we will save our you know new menu item and start showing it up in here. Okay. So far, we have been able to add new item in here. Let's say soup price is 100 and it is going as an Ajax call and we are able to get it here. So now it's time to save. Um, So inside there is okay. I have I don't have the description field yet, so we'll keep it uh, empty for now. But I can just have the menu by default. So menu create dollar menu. Okay, I need to re return it right. So dollar menu and first thing is name. Name is going to be post data okay this is done then description we don't have it price restaurant ID hmm now again I would have ideally liked to return the ID from this, but I don't think I can do that. So we we'll need to make another call to fetch the category ID. So category equals category where um, store ID. Okay, this is the first where condition. So category where this and where name is should be first because i'll get only one so yeah so i will get category id once we make the you know, database call and is there anything else that i need to populate no so yeah, I think I'll have this. So return response JSON 201 status code, which uh, means you know we have created something. So we'll have this and let's see if we are able to get that into working. Now it says there's an error let's see what's the error mass assignment okay that's fine um menu dot php and protected dollar guarded so we have our guarded property as empty let us clear the log save again and i have one more error description doesn't have a default value that's fine let's hard code that for now i haven't made it nullable so that's the reason it's kind of squawking now so clear that log again i need a description field oops i shouldn't have refreshed here and yeah now we are able to get all the required information right um yeah I think it's all right. So now I need to, in some way, show it here, right? That's what we are trying to do. So let's see. Clear out the log. This is all fine. Inside here, we'll have. Hmm. So I have a child component which gets a response that a new menu item is added and that i need to let the menu container know so that it can somewhere in here this is current okay and this is items right so somewhere it should get that okay why don't we do one thing you know yes there is 
uh, this is prop so I cannot change it uh, that's that's going to be a problem now because what is happening is this entire thing is coming from props and now I can't push anything to it because properties cannot be changed inside a component it, it can only be it's in a read-only mode actually so we will fiddle around a little inside menu container once we get the props hmm, inside created I'll have let's just say local items let's see if you know if we run into any problems then we will look into this but uh, so it's an empty thing um, and then this dot local items is equals this dot items so what I'm doing is I am creating a data uh, property local items and whatever is coming from the props to local items and then the this particular component items is fine I think current items is the um, thing in here I'll do that you know, it is now the computer property is dependent on the local item so let's see if you know um, everything is fine I hope so because I've just changed the variable the data still remains to be the same so yeah I think now although we are depending on the props but we can internally play around with it so now I need to just raise an event okay in a way for my parent component to know that new menu item is added so this is an event and response.data is something which I want to emit okay and so in here I have these props I can say v on this event handle new menu item um, there is no method drop it so I'll add this let's just ensure that you know we are getting the data what we require right hit refresh one more item I will say this go to console hit save and I'm getting this right so that's fine this dot local items right now I don't have the category which is again a problem I guess I'll need to send that as well I don't need I don't know what is the category so uh, uh, post data dot post data dot category okay basically I, I need to understand what is the key right because let 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 me quickly explain you what is happening so I have selected something from this four okay and in here in this menu container these are the categories and local items have you know an individual arrays in here so I need to push it here right so for example if I have selected this then I'll need to push it there I mean chicken main course which is it this particular item so for that I need to get the key and that's why I will be passing two variables one is this and so the item category and I'll just say this dot on shift which will take it to the top item and if things are done properly I think I should be able to add that so I'll select soup some item and I'm able to show this description now if I would have hard-coded something in my description in here you know, like 
let's just say oh why don't we do one thing rather in here put a field okay shouldn't take too much time so i'll take this i have description okay um enter put description description oh okay um, text area is the thing class form control v model is going to be full dot description um, is it looking proper yes it is okay i'll have just have a placeholder as well and uh, and term description now i need to define it otherwise it will create a problem and i think i'll be already sending the description in here so this is fine i'll just add a validation rule which is description is required it should be minimum three and description now once it is validated i'll get that as description okay i need to type it out so description is here description is here and now if i hit refresh let's just test okay this is coming here hmm. I have this chili okay. uh, it's a soup price is 100 some random description can come yeah. copy it save and this is coming up let's see if the others are working as well non veg rice right so i need to clear this data as well so that that's fine i mean category is non veg rice let's change that to 200 I like it okay and yes this is currently working this is you know being retained if i go to main course i haven't added anything on non veg rice i have chicken fried chili rice which is 200 so yeah the only thing is once we have emitted this i can say this dot oops this dot food is equal to uh, i need to empty it and i don't want you know it to repeat so what i can do is empty food item is a function okay which returns me this <coughs> and this dot empty food item should work okay what happened unexpected is that's strange this and food will this work no it doesn't i will then have to run that on created i didn't want to do that it should have ideally worked it's squawking in here but all right that's fine i think the mistake is not here but rather in here this dot huh? yep so i have the empty thing let's quickly look at the form which is here Hmm. Should be a function, obviously. Food item. Yeah, these are empty objects, and bring it down. Soup. Clear. Chicken soup. Make it one fifty. It as well, and yes, now it is being 
you know, cleared out once the form is filled. So yeah, this is how the form is created. We have a working you know, uh, menu explorer where I can add new items. Uh, we can also do things like delete, which we will do in, in the subsequent videos. But yeah, uh, our basic component is ready. If you like the videos and the series, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.